We have an on your side alert tonight to help you avoid being the victim of a job scam. Now, these are all texts that I've personally gotten in the last six months offering me remote work. One time I responded to a message asking the sender if they wanted to be interviewed for a story about job scams. Of course, they did not respond, but I did speak to a cybersecurity expert about why these scams exist and how to avoid them. An unknown number pops up and someone you've never met is asking you if you're interested in a job. I mean, it might sound enticing. The work doesn't sound hard, but it sounds like a good opportunity for you. Uh, that may be one way that they get you in. But cybersecurity expert Alex Zanetti says these messages are likely not legitimate. Oftentimes these scams are just seeking to collect information from you. And especially as you're applying for a job, you might be uh, in a position to give over a lot of very sensitive information. Your name, your address, your social security number, and even potentially your credit card information. That information could be used to create fake identities or even get loans using your name. So you might receive your dream offer from Google for working for them. They'll look for companies that are closer to your geolocation. So maybe a new Microsoft data center or Lego coming and setting up uh, one of their headquarters here in Virginia. That might sound like a great offer, but oftentimes both the offer itself and the person purporting to be from that company are not actually from there. Recently, Beacon Hill, a company that offers workforce solutions and has an office in the Richmond area, posted a scam alert and even created an email address for people to report suspicious activity. It learned the company was the victim of an impersonation scam. Scammers were promising jobs they don't have and soliciting information and money from people looking for jobs. The company says there have been cases of scammers moving communication to the messaging app WhatsApp and sending fake badges with the names of actual Beacon Hill hiring managers to get someone to trust them. These job scammers have groups of them monitoring WhatsApp channels. And so as soon as somebody pops in, they can uh, pick it up. And just like any other ticketing system for a company, start to engage with you and in their case, hopefully scam you. If you get an option like that, uh, stop immediately. That is absolutely a scam. While some companies are starting to use those third party messaging services uh, in official capacities for customer support or otherwise, none of them will be doing it for hiring. Nettie says if you responded to a text from someone claiming to be a recruiter offering remote work from a company you've heard of, you can always reach out to the company directly instead of texting. Any point you have questions about what's going on, stop and ask. If you can't get a clear cut answer, oftentimes scammers, as soon as they realize they've been caught or might be about to get caught, will disengage and, and block you. If it's too late and you've already started to engage with one of these scammers, stop engaging with them right away. Now, in a statement to 12 on your side, Beacon Hill says it appreciates platforms like LinkedIn that have increased measures now against scams. LinkedIn actually recently added a recruiter verification to help differentiate legitimate recruiters from imposters. Megan. Thanks, Jasmine.